but I, I know it was removed before. Like how long ago before? Um, I was young, well, like 15, 20? Well, that's like 15 that's, years ago or 18 years ago, well, that, something along those lines. And, and why did you have it removed? Uh, so I had the ingrown toenails. So yep. essentially, the, the edges were going, you know, in the corner of the toe. And mm -hmm. when I had it, when I was uh, cutting it, it would be painful. And they just removed the whole nail. And they just removed the whole thing. So they, essentially, they told me that you can remove. Usually, we remove half if it's only that side. But then, if since you have both sides, we're just gonna remove the whole thing. And you know, you get a brand stinking new one. And that's, did that happen? Perfect. And that did not happen, as you can see. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if, if... Did it grow back like this right away, or is it over time that it started to grow lifted and detached? It, it was it was definitely, it grew thick right away. It was thicker than, than mm -hmm. it should be, and it was lifted from, from the beginning. And it was just a matter of, like, managing. So the big thing that happens, actually, is trauma is what damages the nail and causes it to grow funny. So if you remove a toenail, but you do it very gently, um, you don't damage the nail bed, you don't damage the nail cells, a new nail should grow better. But if you're very rough, you stab the nail bed, you rip it out, uh, that's where the new nail can grow in a little bit different. The other thing that, you know, sometimes people don't realize is that some people just have an, a curved toenail. That you remove the nail, it's going to grow back the exact same way. same way. Yes, so that's where, you know, removing the side of the nail does help. But we can see how, because it's been lifted, the ball of the toe, uh, that meat has kind of filled up, mm -hmm. right, and filled into that space. Um, I'm very curious to always see what the nail looks like underneath. Like we said, how the nail, in a healthy, when it's attached, it'll be pink, it'll have like the signs that there's bleeding, but when it's scarred nail bed, there's no blood, there's no nothing, it's like dry. Not sure if I can watch, but at least I know that I can watch later if I don't watch now. So that's good. Like, yeah, it is good, right? I can always look away and just watch it later if I don't feel like. Watching uh, I it completely later. agree. So we will put on a rubber band, tourniquet, so there's very little to no bleeding. So that way, when I know you look later, it won't uh, freak you out. And I like telling people why we put this on because this is very, very important, actually. One, it allows me to see everything very clearly. The second thing is, if there's too much bleeding, you'll actually dilute the acid, and then the acid doesn't work. So a lot of people who've had this procedure done, they had it done without any sort of tourniquet, and if it really is gushing, it'll just wash out whatever acid they've used. So unrip, unwrap it like a Christmas present. <laughs> I'm gonna do our last check. So I'm just going to cover it up so you don't see anything sharp here. No. Here. Okay. Here. Nothing. Here. Nothing. And how about down here? No. Okay. Should be numb. No pain. <laughs> so the crazy, it, you know, even me, I do this every day and it's just like, is that person truly numb? Because sometimes people act different to all the numbing. But we're separating the nail from the nail bed. Again, it's completely half uh, lifted halfway down. So it's only at the very back half that is attached. Yep. But very curved. And we're going to make a show of you today. We're going to show off to see how wide those nail edges are. So we're gonna see what's kind of actually hiding underneath the skin. <laughs> you tell your, you're, you're <laughs> so I'm actually exposing the nail sides to see what was hiding underneath. Wow. It's like an angel. <laughs> Look at those wings. Wow. This side. This yes, side. With the wings, what the hell is that? <laughs> wow. That's how wide your nail was. Yep. Get rid of it. <laughs> there we go. So you can see, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, what's actually interesting, you can see most of it is bleeding, but this is the part that was really lifted. Yes. It's not, there's no blood there's at all. No blood there, it's no. like skin. It's skin, it's been scarred, yep. and that's why the nail was not reattaching. 
Oh, you're good. Just look away. There you go. <laughs> uh, that's that's why I wasn't reattaching. It's definitely scarred tissue, and unbelievable how deep those sides are. And you were treating this yourself. You were mm -hmm. cutting down the nails. Yeah, I had the little scent at home, like the nail clippers and the little things, the curved thingies that go like down the edge for just to take away the tiny edge that goes in the yep. corner. That yep. would is it kind of crazy that you don't feel it? A little, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking more than I expected. I would like. I can look at that. I guess it's the, the gruesome taking out of the of the nail is what I couldn't look at. For sure, that's it is kind of gruesome. But I mean, looking at this right now and not feeling anything, it's like okay, that's good. It's not it's cra It's really crazy. It still gets it me every time. It absolutely is. I'm just gonna get rid of some of that kind of thick scar tissue scabby stuff on top okay so now I look away yeah that's a good time to look away or look closer depending who you are <laughs> I mean, I, at least I know I have it on video but there's not too much to take off that's good but what will happen now that there's no more nail it, everything will just dry up everything will turn into a scab and just fall off and just fall off yep I'm expecting a lot of relief longer term, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Again, this, this procedure is forever. So yes. again, like you said, no more, no more pain, no more dealing with it on a routine basis. So drying everything out and then we put the acid and that's, that's the whole procedure. There you go. So this is the magic stuff. What's the acid? Is that this is phenol. It's phenol, right? Yeah, I think I remember that too. And this is what's going to kill those nail sides. Now, have you ever seen a foot specialist before? Uh, like for, for this nail problem? I have once. Uh, the, the same place where I did my last orthotics. Yep, yep. But did they talk about any option like this? Absolutely not. They told me to go see them whenever I need to cut it. Did they <laughs> cut, like, did they cut the nail home. out? Thank you so much. Hmm? Did they try cutting it themselves out? No, I, I'm like, I do that at home. Thank you. Like, why would I, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't even know, honestly, I didn't even know removing the whole thing was an option. I, I knew that it's not going to go back to normal because as you said, it's detached. I can already see skin at the front. You know what I mean? So I know that it can go back to normal, but I did not know that removing the whole thing is an option. I know, and uh, you're gonna be very surprised on how it looks afterwards because the whole cuticle closes shut and it's just smooth skin. And it looks very normal. Uh, and because actually you have a darker skin complexion, it's gonna look really nice. The, this, this, it'll be like a light scar and it looks lighter. So it almost looks like you have a nail there. Some people get a tattoo of a nail on the nail. The out, yeah, yeah, the outline. Yeah. Now, I was asking a lot of a few nail techs who, who work next door is, yeah, you can paint on the skin, but it really doesn't stay very long. So that smell, is that the phenol or is that my... my oh, sorry, I made a mistake. That was me doing, making a mistake, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the acid. So that's just the, like the smell of the acid? Or that smell the acid. smell of my flesh burning with the acid? No, smell the acid. You smell better. <laughs> <laughs> and this is again what's going to stop the nail from growing. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable that the people who come in with some serious ingrowns, like really bad, and they've been dealing, like you said, for years. At least for you, you haven't gotten to the point where it's deformed the toe. You have extra, you know, skin growing now, yeah. super infected all the time. Yeah, definitely wouldn't wait that far. And, uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate that some people do. They really wait way too long. And that's it. All done. 
So just gonna use some rubbing alcohol to neutralize that acid so there's no more reaction. And then I'm gonna show you how you, to dress it. And all this, the whole sides that are so deep will fill up with tissue. They'll be completely flat. That's, yeah, I was worried about that, you know, because like... There won't be holes on the side. So you are gonna be dressing it using the antibiotic cream. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing to know, if you're using gauze, try to put a little bit more cream. So it doesn't stick? Yes. So uh, yeah, I was gonna do like a, a non-stick, there's a non-stick thing, and then I was gonna wrap that with gauze. Yeah, and I used to use that when I remove a toenail, but what happens, because it's, it doesn't absorb, mm -hmm. and the, this yes. does bleed, it, the blood would just go all over the place. So it's better to have the gauze to absorb it a little bit, but I just get people to change it sooner. So instead of waiting a day, two days to change it, you're gonna change it tomorrow morning. Okay, so use a lot of cream. Yep. Do like a, a good wad of gauze and then use that. To, uh, now, now you got a mantle. <laughs> Great job, that was one. Thank you. Great job, you too. <laughs> so one down. One to go. And you didn't feel any pain? Absolutely not. It was completely painless. And we did have to add a little bit more on the one side. For the yeah. And that happens, like I said. It's, I mean, uh, that's why we test, right? That's why we test. Again, I hear all the stories of people just injecting and then going right at it and you need to give it some time and you, you should try to check so the person really doesn't go through any sort of discomfort because there's no point. There's no need to feel pain. Exactly. So last check. Look away. Anything sharp here? Nothing. Here? No. Nope. Over here? Nope. And down here. All good. Okay. Now this one's way more curved. Mm. Which one was harder for you to cut? Honestly, I think it's both. If, like, I, I remember this one, the one you're working on right now, the, the right corner. That's a hard one. It is. That's the corner that, that I... That one, yes, that one. But honestly, it, I guess as long as I was on top of them, it wasn't that bad. The issue was when I like forget about them and then it, it reminds me with the pain. So I actually grabbed it right next to the skins because I always want to see how much is out on the side. Yep, yeah, there you go. Right. Wow. Wow. It's so crazy to see. Wow. Like, it is so wide. Yeah, man, look away. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but I, I'm impressed. I'll give you that. You did really well holding out and watching pretty much everything. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, surprised, you surprised yourself. I, I did surprise myself. I wasn't sure if I can. I mean, I didn't look at the whole thing, but yeah, I looked more than I thought I would. And no pain doing this? Nope. Great. Acid. And no pain here. No pain. So it's hard to know if it was just a tad or the mind, but if you're doing well with this acid part, then you're doing pretty good. I guess so. Don't mind acid. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's, it's really always unbelievable when you see the wings, how wide. You feel a little tingliness? Just tiny, but again, nothing, not even to the level of discomfort. It's just, you know, the anticipation of feeling something. So you, you don't know? You don't know if it is or isn't? I don't know if it is or isn't, and I guess that's enough to say that it's fine. Okay. Do you feel, but you don't feel like a toothpick? No. So you're just feeling sensations? Well, Again, I'm looking, so... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how about now? Anything now that you're not looking? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Nothing. okay, we're going to go no more looking. No more looking. <laughs> no more looking. And you still looking. <laughs> so it's, I'm the curious. Curiosity. I'm curious. You, you know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. So. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you're curious if it hurts, the more you look, the more it hurts. <laughs> And you're still looking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it. I can't. Okay. <laughs> Coming from the guy who said, I, I'm not going to look. <laughs> but I can't stop looking. I told you, it, it's weird. It happens to everyone. Right? It's your, it's your toe. When are you ever going to go through this again? Yeah. Never. Because I see you flinching. So is it sore on this side? No. This side? No, nothing? That's just a mental flinch. Okay. <laughs> no feelings, no way. I mean, even if I like put a little something, we're done. Like, I'm not going to go for another shot. <laughs> okay. I, uh, again, only if it was painful, but it, I don't think it is. Yeah, no, it's not. And keep looking now, you can't get away. <laughs> so you don't even need a video anymore. You're good. <laughs> it's unbelievable how deep it goes. And yes. how wide. Like all that is right underneath. You get right in there with that acid. I don't not want another thing in there. I completely agree. So actually, I'm a little bit more aggressive with the acid. I put it a little bit more, a little bit longer, and it does create a little bit more injury. In but I mean, if it but guarantees that this is a one and done. Th that's the big thing. Yeah. I mean, I, again, it's going to be painful for a couple of days, but yeah. then you'll leave for a lifetime. So. And that's why I've learned that, right? People sometimes are like, oh, I don't want to cause too much damage. But if you don't, because you're technically you're damaging the nail. Exactly. If you don't cause enough damage, you will then get the a rebound. The nail comes back up. Yeah. Okay. It's good that I saw you doing this, because that's more than I ever worked with. This is a lot. I do put a lot. I'm a little... I mean... But there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing to lose, right? But no. So, how was that? That was, as, as you said, exactly. Just the, the pinprick in the beginning was the, was the only inconvenient part so far. And out of 10, how much pain was that? The actual surgery? The, pin, the, the, the pinprick. Uh, I mean, I guess it was the anticipation. Maybe how much pain? I don't know, a three, a four? Well, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess it was the anticipation for it. And I, and I don't like needles, so. So for me, it's just the thought too. But, but uh, it, it wasn't that bad. Like I, I didn't, yeah. And and the surgery itself is zero feeling. Besides, when you look at it, 
which was all the time. I guess. And, and, <laughs> and even then, it wasn't even that bad. Like, it was just a... Uh... So this is always the fun part. Uh, I'll bring you up, put them on. I can touch this now, we're good. We're all done. Look at that. Wow. Look at these nails. Wow. So which one's yours, which one's hers? Who's getting one? <laughs> I like both of you. I don't think you're going to touch any of those, but I'm definitely keeping them. Yeah, yeah look, at, look at the curvature. Wow. Right? You can see that. But you see how wow. misshaped, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Put this under your pillow, you might get something good. <laughs> you think? <laughs> is, 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 is there a fingernail fairy? <laughs> It's just me. I'm going to be coming to your house later. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <cool. laughs> All done.